No. Uh, yeah. So far, most of the key appointments have been made. The former Foreign Secretary, let's start with him, Philip Hammond, will become Chancellor of the Exchequer. One of the key figures in the Leave campaign, oh, Boris Johnson, of course known uh, perhaps more widely than some of those uh, others sitting around, him, around the Cabinet table. He takes a big step up to become Foreign Secretary. Amber Rudd, former Energy Secretary, has been given the position of Home Secretary as part of Theresa May's plans for a more gender-balanced Cabinet. Michael Fallon stays as Defence Secretary and is the only person so far to retain his position. David Davis, former Europe Minister under John Major and veteran Eurosceptic, has taken on the new position of Secretary of State for exiting the EU. That's already been nicknamed as Brexit Secretary. Leave campaigner Liam Fox, also a former Defence Secretary, has been appointed the new position of Secretary of State for International Trade. And Liz Truss, we've seen her this morning, the former Environment Secretary, has been appointed Justice Secretary. And Justine Greening has moved to Education Secretary. Justine Greening has not left Downing Street yet. She's still in there with Theresa May as far as we know. Uh, as for those leaving the cabinet, George Osborne has been removed as Chancellor and as we've heard in the last few minutes, the leading campaign for leave campaigner Michael Gove, who was also Justice Secretary, has been sacked. We're still awaiting the fate of Jeremy Hunt, who has been removed from Health Secretary or may have volunteered. We don't know yet, but we need to know what job he retains in the cabinet or will be revealed, we hope. Sandy Javid, Business Secretary under Ka David Cameron, has yet to be given a formal position under Theresa May. So I've uh, been yabbering, what, 45 seconds, so what's well. happened? Done well.